Welcome to Reading with Willa. Today we are reading The Tale of Three Corgis Around Town by Claudia and Bruce Winkle. It was illustrated by Penny Hoffel. This book was written by my aunt's neighbors. They are allowing me to read their book on my channel, so I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you. This book is about three corgis named Merlin, Raz, and Whimsy, and we get to learn about their time around town. Hi, we are Merlin, Raz, and Whimsy, the cardigan Welsh corgis. You know, the corgis with the tail. Tag along with us as we travel around town. One of our favorite things to do is just walk in the park. We go to the health food store for gallons and gallons of goat milk. The se this is the secret to our soft and silky coats. Shh. Mom, do you think we should just buy our own goat? Time for our annual checkup. First we have to weigh in. Oops, we have put on a pound. Or two. Or three. The doctor says, time for the treadmill. Oh, it's okay. We can take a longer walk. Vamanos is Spanish for let's go. Come on in. We are celebrating our new book. Please enjoy a corgi-shaped cookie or a cupcake. Don't forget to get your book autographed too. Don't forget to get your book autographed too. We help Dad pick up our delicious and nutritious dog food. We are just in time to unload the truck. We all get a tune-up at the chiropractor's. We love vibrational therapy. It really recharges our batteries. Training day! Treats for tricks! It's like a three-ring circus in our own yard. Come join our Corgi fan club for our first Friday book signing. We create lots of curiosity about the Cardigan Corgi dog breed. We play hide and seek while mom shops for delightful Delilahs. Oh my gosh, the Delilahs are as big as our dog bowls. Yippee! It's the 4th of July and we are in the parade. It's almost time for the party. Let's wrap the presents we purchased for the pretty poodle. Happy birthday! Summer's over and before the pool cl is closed for the season, we get to swim and splash. It's the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. The patron saint of all animals. Blessing to all God's creatures, big and small. Blessings to us all. After our busy schedules, we take time to zone out. With acupuncture and laser. This really helps us find our zen. I am Merlin, the magician. I know how to flip open the gate to my pen, self-taught of course. I am out in a flash. My job is to keep everyone guessing. I am Raz. I love to run and play in the backyard. I taught my brothers how to compete in a in rally. My job is to patrol the place for cats and squirrels. I am Whimsy, and I am the baby of the family. I will fall down for a belly rub and love treats. Did I tell you I love treats? My job is to make sure there are no crumbs on the carpet. Our mom does everything for our corgi's care and convenience. Mom's job is to make sure we get lots of love, hugs, and of course, treats. Our dad also does everything for our corgi care and convenience. We have them both well trained. Dad's job is to drive us to all our fun adventures around town. We love to play with Penny. Penny unleashes her creative spirit when she draws our pictures. 
Penny's job is to use her amazing talents to bring you our true stories to you. And welcome to the craft part of today's video. For today's craft, you'll need a pencil or a pen, um, some markers or colored pencils, or crayons, whatever you have to color with. I'm going to be showing how to draw a basic corgi since today's book was about corgis. <laughs> so let's get started. So first I want to draw like a circular oval shape and one smaller oval circle shape on the inside. And we're going to draw two rounded triangles. For some ears. Then we're gonna draw two very short little lines there and one line back. Then we're gonna round it. It's just gonna basically be like a rounded rectangle there. And then this one we're gonna bring down and add a little, two little ovals at the bottom. for the feet, and I'm going to bring those lines down a little bit, and then we're going to finish our rectangle shape, and we're going to put a circle here, and a little oval shape at the bottom, and then a little tail, And for the eyes, you can do any shape you want. I'm going to do little oval shapes for my corgi's eyes. And I'm going to add some smaller triangles inside the ears. And a rounded triangle for the nose. And a little mouth. And there's a little corgi. So now, this is an optional step. But I'm going to outline. This is just a fine point marker. Pens work too. So creepy shaped. So I'm gonna go over the pencil lines I made. I don't know what this marker <laughs> I normally wouldn't fill all that in, but I'm going to today because I accidentally kept going. <laughs> but that's fine. make the front paws a little bit smaller than they are. There we go. I'm going to color in his eyes. I'm just going to do black. Okay. Now I'm going to take an eraser to erase the pencil lines. And now I'm going to take my yellow marker, you can, again, you can use any coloring things, so crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you use to color with. And I'm going to take yellow and color my corgi in. Your corgi can be any color you want. 
There's lots of different patterns on corgis too, but I'm going to do the most common one, which is like a goldy color with some white spots. That's what my corgi looks like, so. <laughs> There's a little corgi, and I'm going to do some pink ears for the insides. And I just have these because I do lots of drawings, but I'm going to do two little white dots inside the eyes, and I forgot the color in his nose. there we go. We have a cute little simple corgi. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next week.